What's up, guys? We've got triple threat today. Coach Carl, Coach Wade. Wade's gonna take us through a little warm up while I'll tell you what we got coming. So follow along with him while I'll tell you what we got. So first up, we've got cardio coming in. We've got an eight minute AMRAP. That means eight minutes, as many rounds as possible. So for that, we've got eight jumping jacks, eight jump squat or eight squats, and eight lunges. So we're gonna start off with those. After we get through a couple rounds, a couple minutes in, we're gonna crank up that intensity a little bit. Next up, we'll have an eight minute EMOM for strength, and then we'll be finishing off with some abs as well. So make sure you follow along here with Wade. We'll go ahead and finish up this warm up here, get everything ready. A lot of lower body today. You'll notice because we're doing lower body, it's mostly lower body stretches we're starting with. Coming down into a squat stretch here, using your elbows to open up your knees. If the squat stretch is generally a little hard for you, you can just have your hands out front. You don't have to worry about opening your knees there if you don't need to. And then twisting over to the side. Opening that chest up and switching sides. Finish with one more hamstring stretch. Keeping your hands on the ground, taking a deep breath in. All right. You ready, Carl? Let's do it. All right. We're gonna jump right into that eight minute ham wrap in three, two, and one. So we got eight jumping jacks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight squats. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Now we have eight lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this doesn't stop. We're right back into those jumping jacks. All right. You'll notice in his jumping jacks, got a lot of options for those. You can step out with it, or six, you can be doing those seven, jumps too. Eight on these squats. You can get as low as you want. If you want to add in a jump squat for them, more than welcome. That's a way to kind of pick up the intensity here. On those lunges, you'll have the option to step forward and eight. There we to go. step backwards. You can even step to the side if you want. But right now we're kind of focusing on forward and backwards. We'll have some side lunges here later. But those lunges, he's got a tight stomach. He's keeping his pace going. Eight. And then one more option for those jumping jacks. You've got star jumps if you want to add in a little more difficulty. Totally up to you, whatever you want to do. But right now, this is your eight minutes. Getting through it as quick as you can, challenging yourself. Eight. All right. You'll notice we're in different spots. That's totally fine. You don't have to be doing it with us, with us. Seven. But we're all in this together. Eight. Nice. Whew. Woo. Six. Seven and eight. Nice. Right back up at the top. So doing this as fast or as slow as you need to, keeping that pace, getting that heart rate up. You need to start throwing in some of those higher intensity versions. You're gonna see Wade doing those jump squats back there a little bit. You can mix it up a little bit. However you do it, it's your workout. Do a little jumping lunges on these. You got sides if you want. Doing what you need to do here, but you're keeping yourself moving. Seven, eight. Whoo! I think I've done four rounds at this point. What round are you on? Uh, 15. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to stop. I think I'm doing well to keep track of the time right now. <laughs> kind of lost track of my rounds. As long as one of us is, I think we're good. Five minutes left. Doing awesome. Keep that going. Keep it going. Work at your own pace. If you're keeping with me or weight, that's great. Move a little quicker. That's cool too. And if you need to take breaks throughout, give yourself a second. Try and finish your round. Take a quick break. Start again. This is your workout. Doing what you need to do. 
my hand. There we go, there we go. All right. You guys are approaching the halfway point. Keep that going. Woo. Quads are feeling those. How about you? Yeah, I'm feeling that. So you can slow it down a little bit if you need to. You saw on those last ones, kind of slow those lunges down a little bit for myself. You speed up, get a little bit quicker. Work at your speed. You got these eight minutes, do as much work as you can. Work at your pace. See Carl switching this up. Go ahead and do a few modified versions there, Carl. Stepping out to the side. Doing what you need to do here. This is where it's starting to get tough. This is where it's getting challenging. It's up to you to keep that pace. Challenge yourself with good form. That's the most important part. If you need to, say you have a chair at home, you kind of sit down back into that chair, especially if you're getting really fatigued at this point. We're really concentrating on keeping that good form. You notice too, on my lunges, I wanted to speed it up a little bit, but I'm not going quite as deep. It's perfectly fine. Whatever range of motion you need to do, make sure you don't irritate those knees. All right. that intensity you don't necessarily have to go all the way down if any kind of joint irritation is a problem for you you guys have less than two minutes this is where you're trying to pick it up this is where you're trying to finish strong this is cardio you're feeling that burn in your legs I promise you're gonna feel that burn later too don't give in now keep pushing through your lungs make sure you're working hard seconds trying to finish strong doing your best here give it all you got all right keep going keep this going 25 seconds this is you and you're not competing with Carl not competing with me this is just you and yourself come on 10 9 8 oh, we're trying to finish 7 a little faster come on Afterwards, we both forgot how many rounds we got, so I'll uh, say we did about 20. It worked. It was 20 good. rounds. It would work. All right, we're gonna take us through our strength portion sure. way. So, every minute on the minute, we're gonna repeat these exercises. We're gonna sample them out here first. First exercise is six lunges one, two, 
three, four, five, and six. Next one is lateral. One, two, three, four, five, six. After that, you've got reverse. Stomach tight, keeping your head tall. Following Carl here, practicing those six. Five, six, and then six squats. Regular or jump, up to you. And six, nice. There's All one right. minute down. So we're gonna start in 15 seconds. And then you have seven rounds of those same exercises. Keeping them as fast as you can. Once you finish, you get to rest. If you finish before us, awesome. You finish after, we'll tell you when to start again. Ready? And go. Focus on depth on these. So if you need to have a chair or something next to you to kind of hold on to, to help you with that depth, perfectly fine. Same thing with these lateral lunges. You want to have a chair right in front of you. You can kind of hold on to that. That way you can kind of get that full range of motion. Try to make sure that you keep those toes pointed forward. You should feel that stretch a little bit on the inner thigh. Reverse lunges, same thing, you just hold on. Reach with that back foot. It's gonna get you using those hamstrings and those glutes just a little bit more, make sure you're staying up nice and straight. And then again on those squats, nice and slow and controlled. All right, and whenever you finish, even if you're not done, when we say go, stop where you're at. Start again. Yep, six more rounds. Woo! Got about eight seconds. Add a weight in if you want. If you got a little weight with you, grab it, hold on to it while you do these. Ready? I'll show you some options. Set and go. So in that lunge, if you're holding those weights out front, awesome. Carl's putting a lot of emphasis on pushing through his feet here, pushing hard through the middle and heel of his foot, keeping his glutes tight. And those laterals, you can choose to go three in one direction, three in the other, or switch. But in that lateral lunge, you're thinking of keeping perfect form even in that down position. In that rear, focusing on your stomach, your hips, keeping everything straight up and a nice line there. Everything is in control, even though we're doing it as fast as you can. So, doing awesome, keep it up. Squats here, getting as low as you can. If you want it to be harder, add that jump. If you're happy with those regular squats, that's good too, 15 Woo. seconds. Yeehaw. Yeah, burning. So, five more rounds. How y'all feeling out there? How we feeling? All right, ready, set, and go. Curious if Carl and I can stay quiet for a whole 30 seconds. That might be one of the first times we've done that. So, Ooh. congrats, Carl. Woo. I'm not sure if I got five or six. I got six. So, you guys should be feeling this. You're still feeling your lungs, but you're feeling your thighs, your glutes, side of your legs. You're feeling your legs right now. So, really try to get that depth. We were doing more with speed on that first round. This one's where we're going to focus that depth and range of motion. Ready, set, and go. If it helps you to focus on depth, you can keep that foot forward. Doing what you need to do here. You have a lot of different options we're giving you. So we've kind of shown you a lot throughout. A newborn baby deer after this. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, six seconds. Come on. Ready? Set. And go.
20 seconds. How many more rounds we got? How long's count? Five? <laughs> now I think we got three rounds left if I'm counting that right. So I'm known for my counting. Trust me. All right, ready? Set and go. Strength or cardio to you, Carl? More strength. Okay. More strength. I just did a little cardio before this, so man, I'm feeling that. Woo. It can be whatever you want it to be. A lot of it's up to your pace, your depth. Just keep challenging yourself. Two more rounds. You got this, guys. Push through. Last two on these. Come on, then we're moving to abs. And go. So again, you can take a little bigger step. As long as you're keeping your stomach tight, your hips tight, you'll feel that a little bit more through your legs. Working on depth there. To the side, every time you step out, you're still thinking stomach and hips tight. You want to imagine that you're doing a squat with this half of your body. So half of this body is stretched out, half is doing a squat. And those backward lunges again. Work really hard not to lean forward. You're getting tired, you're getting exhausted. Here's where you're going to start doing some Little cheats, work really hard to make sure that's not you. Head tall, stomach tight, every position. Doing good. <clears throat> All right. Woo! 15 seconds. One more. Yep. One more, guys. So, this is your last one. This is where you can ramp it up a little bit if you want. This is where you can make sure you finish if you want. Pick up the speed or add some difficulty. Ready? And go. squats till the end of that minute. Let's Make do sure it. if anyone else is still going, we're going with them. All right. All right. 20 seconds. Come on. Nice soft landing on that. Doing good. Shake them out if you need. Jump back in. 10 Six. seconds. We've got Superman's hollow body holding the sit-ups. We're going to take you through it. Each time we've got 30 seconds of work, but a little less rest each time we do it. Yep. All right. Grab a mat. So if you've got a mat, feel free to grab that now. If you're on the carpet, that's fine. If you're on the hard floor and you're fine with that, that's fine too. Lots of options for your plank here, but 30 seconds on. We'll start in 10 seconds. You can be on your elbows like Carl here. You can be on your hands like me. You can be on your knees like Carl here. You can be full plank like me. Ready, set, and go. Each position, your stomach is tight, your glutes are squeezed. Your elbows are right below your shoulder. If you're on your hands, your fingers, your thumbs are in your armpits. And you're doing good. 12 seconds. Keeping that as tight as you can. Goal of your plank right now is to make it challenging for yourself. Three, two, one, Woo! rest. All right, 20 second rest. Moving right into our next one. We're doing Superman. You can also bring the hands back. Make sure you're not hyper extending. You're just keeping that core tight, lifting that chest off the floor. And ready, set, go. So like Carl, you can do those pulses here. If you want to join me, you can just do a hold. 
You're not hyperextending, but you're squeezing that back. Hold it steady. That hold or those squeezes, up to you. Doing good. You got 30 seconds. You're halfway. Four, five, four, three, two, and rest. Roll it on over. 20 seconds. Hollow body hold. So all you're gonna be doing here, feet are up. Trying to bring those shoulder blades up, reaching, almost like you're reaching for your feet. Just keep those shoulders down and packed. Core's tight, and send the belly button. Ready, body. Set, and go. So on here, Carl's biggest goal is to keep his stomach tight and his back down. If I'm gonna walk across the stomach, if I'm gonna punch him in the stomach, it is rock hard. Try and make that your biggest focus. His neck is relaxed. His shoulders aren't hunching forward. They're down and back while keeping that stomach tight. If you need to bring your knees in just a little bit more, you're welcome to. This hold is up to you as long as that back is down and supported. So doing awesome. Keep that up. And three, two, one, rest. 20 seconds rest. Next up, we've got sit-ups or crunches for 30 seconds. So if you're doing sit-ups, coming all the way up, really controlling all the way down. Crunches, driving that belly button down to the spine, keeping that core nice and tight, good pelvic position. And ready, set, and go. So you can be doing crunches with me, you can be doing sit-ups with Wade. I do realize one downside of doing sit-ups on this hard ground is that I am slipping. <laughs> it's like I sweat around here or something. You start inchworming. <laughs> yeah. And five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo! All right. So we're going back through that again. We got. Oh, sorry. We've Fifteen got, second break this time. Yep. Thirty seconds of work. 15 second break, all right? So same amount of work and a little bit less rest. Ready, set, and go. Stomach tight, hips almost tilted under, squeeze in your belly button. And this is still 30 seconds. You're not going any less time, you're just resting a little less. You guys are doing awesome, 10 seconds. If you've got time in that 15 second break we're taking, feel free to comment how it's feeling. Three, two, and rest. Woo! All right, Superman's. Got 10 more seconds. That 15 seconds goes by quick. Yeah, it does. Ready? Set. And go. Remember, you can also pulse here. or you can hold it. So if you're doing those pulses, pay a lot of attention to not resting on the ground too long. Most of your time is spent in that up position. It's just touch down, coming straight back up. You guys got this? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo! Moving on over, hollow hold. You got eight seconds. Ready, set, and go. So we spent a lot of time describing this position. It's definitely a challenging one. It takes a lot of control, a lot of focus. Keep that in your mind right now. Shoulders are back, stomach is tight, shoulders are still off the ground. Those legs can be bent, they can be straight. The goal is that your back is squished down. 10 seconds, four, five, Four, three, two, oh. and rest. Oh. All right, sit-ups. I'll do sit-ups this time. Okay, all right. some crunches. So I'm gonna try and make these crunches harder than my sit-ups were by spending most of that time in the up position. So, ready, set, and go. So what I am trying to do is hold for about two seconds up, quick down, two seconds up. Puts a lot more focus on the core, on the stomach. But I still have my lower back supported the whole time. 
And we have five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh. All right. I think we got time for one round, Carl? One more. All right. We only got 10 seconds rest on this one. How about five? Okay. Okay. That sounds good. Cool. I like it. I don't like it, but that sounds good. <laughs> All right. Set. And go. Nice and tight. I will say that that five second rest was not planned. But uh -huh. Hey, you guys got this. You're strong. Keep those positive words in your mind. Woo! Doing awesome. You're already 20 seconds in. It's just 10 left. Two thirds of the way there. 66% done. Hopefully one of those was motivational. Three, two, and rest. Woo! Superman's next. Fly and him. Go. Doing good. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Superman. Ooh. Whew. For some reason I feel more like Superman back than I do ahead. But. And eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and rest. Hollow hold, right? Five seconds is quick. Set, and go. Bring those legs in if you have to. But then try to take them right back out as far as you can. Woo! Try to keep that back flat though, that's the main goal. Core's tight, belly button to the spine. Five, four, three, two, oh. and rest. Woo! Sit ups or crunches? Sit ups. Crunches it is. I and go. go. Oh, I was saying you do sit ups. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, we both do them. Sit ups to the end. Come on, what's the last one? These are a lot slower. And you're having to throw yourself up there a little bit, like you can see I am a little bit. I'm really trying to control when I come back down. I'm also keeping my hands out in front of me so I'm not tempted to use them to throw me up there. And you're done in five, four, coming down slow, three, oh. two, and rest. Woo! All right, go ahead and follow along with me for the cool down. Carl will talk us through a couple things. Um, glad you guys could join us. First exercise, pushing your hips down. Be sure to comment and let us know what was your favorite part about today's class, what you'd like to see in the future. You can tell us, let us know what your least favorite part is too. But just let us know, give us feedback. Always happy to hear it. We're here for you guys. We want to make these classes what you want. So thank y'all for tuning in today. I'm going to join Wade here now for a little bit of child's pose. And we'll come in for one leg stretch here at the end too. So laying all the way back, hugging those knees to the chest. And we'll spend about 30 seconds here. We spend a lot of time with legs, a lot of time with glutes. So right now you're stretching that out. The more you hug those knees to the chest, the more you'll feel that stretch through your lower back, through your glutes. But you guys did awesome. We're glad you could join us. And again, like Carl said, if you got any suggestions, if you have any, anything you really wanna see, let us know. We're here for you guys. All right, have a good day. See you later.